Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I know the last few videos I have literally, it looks like I've got the same thing on the whole time. I do have the same top on because it's so warm and it's cold in the winter when I'm filming out here. So it's the coziest thing I've got. <laughs> Hence I keep putting it on. I'm talking about right way, wrong way, law of attraction, law of assumption. What is the way? There is no way. There is no particular way. There is only your way. And I, I say this a lot and I really mean it. And I'm going to go into a bit more detail with, with what I'm saying here to sort of really get this over and why it is your way. I hear a lot about, you know, you have to say, you have to talk about stuff if you want it, as if you already have it. You have to. You have to live in the end. You, and you can't affirm I want. You have to affirm I am or I have and all of that. And I, I've never affirmed that. Sometimes I do now, but I never did in the past because it didn't work for me because it caused a bit of resistance because I would think, well, I don't. And my rational brain would be like, and it just give me that feeling here of resistance, I guess. So I changed it to I want. I simply did that and I got, I got, I, I had a better feeling because I thought, well, I do want, that's true. That's not something I'm trying to make up. I actually do want, so I changed it to I want. And what I said before in my last video, and it's so true, is that words, it's not the wording that matters. It's the feeling you get. It's nothing to do with the actual dictionary interpretation of that word, that, the dictionary description of what that word is. Nothing to do with that. It's all to do with the feeling you get from it. So it's whatever suits you. So what I would really strongly suggest that you do is mess around with phrases. So mess around with I am or I did, I have, I want, I desire and see which feels best. Whichever feels best is your way really and it is as simple as that it's your way that works it's not the way there is no way and i'm going to also talk about neville goddard here and this i know it's a bit controversial when anybody says i'm not saying anything negative about neville i love neville and he is what got me into this in the first place and i resonated with all of his stuff absolutely everything that he says i resonated with but um and i know when i've said this before people that are real neville followers kind of like like I am, you know, but I'm open-minded and I'm open-minded to this being our way, not Neville's way. Yes, um, Neville's way, most of it completely resonates with me, the imagination and all of that. I get that because I live a lot in my head, so it works for me. And I completely got it when I started listening to his old recordings. But um, if there's bits of his, of his stuff that doesn't resonate with you, some bits that do and some bits that don't, then it doesn't matter because some bits resonate and some bits don't. And then there'll be other ways for you to do things that will suit you that won't necessarily be Neville's way. Neville um, is just a man at the end of the day. And yes, he said we are all God and maybe we are. And, I, you know, I, I find it kind of difficult to work with that phrase for some reason. Um, but I get what he was saying, totally get what he was saying. But he was not the God. You know, there's lots of people that came before him that said very similar things to him, people that came after him. And it's all about, that was his way. And he was teaching that because he knew that it worked for him and it might work for other people. And he would often say, if it works for you, also, no, he didn't say, didn't use the word also, he definitely didn't use that word. But, you know, so um, again, it's not, there is no set way. And if you, people often come to me and say, but Neville didn't say this and Neville didn't say that. And I will say, well, yeah. <laughs> So, no, he didn't, but I'm not Neville. I'm Evie. <laughs> I'm not Neville. So, um, you know, uh, Evie's way, you know, it's my way, but then you must have your way. Your way is whatever resonates with you and feels right and feels good. And if it doesn't feel right and it, if it doesn't feel good, then it's not your way. And then people have said to me about, I'm not technical enough and I don't go into enough detail and stuff. Not, you know, I get the old comment like that and I get that, but that's just not me. I don't want to be technical and get into the nitty gritty because I don't understand it. I totally don't know what's going on here and I don't pretend to know. So if I start getting technical, what gives me the, what gives me the qualification to do that? I don't know what's going on. I don't understand it. I think it's all quantum, but I don't know that. I, I really don't know. It could be God. It could be quantum and maybe quantum is God. I, do you know what? That's what I mean. I do not know. And I don't try. Why would I want to get all technical about it? I don't want to. I just want to enjoy my life in the best possible way that I can. Enjoy this stuff. Have fun with it. And if I start getting all technical and trying to work out why this is happening, why that's happening, I'm not going to enjoy it. And I want to pass that over to you guys. And obviously, some guy, some of you 
will love that idea and some of you won't and that's cool too because this isn't your way you know maybe you like to get a bit more technical and you like to think oh right it could be this and this could be happening and that could be happening and getting people's theories on that and I do obviously I do have a kind of a theory alternate realities and all of that stuff but I don't know again it's just my kind of um desire for it to be that I guess because I love sci-fi and I love um the unknown and mystery and all of that it's just my thing so it's your way it's not my way I know you know I hope that you don't feel that this is being really repetitive because I have made these kinds of videos before but it's so important and I like I've said before in my last video and I was talking to one of my coaching clients yesterday and we were talking about statements you know affirmations and bringing up the subject and being open about the subject I um, cure my, you could call it cure, I heal my attachment to this issue. I heal this, I heal that, or I rid myself of this, I rid my, whatever it is, it's quite nice to bring up the subject and not try and bury it and, and try to talk around it like, um, I, oh, I'm really detached with this issue because you're not at the moment. So bringing it up and owning it and then saying I heal it, for me, I loved it and it was it was such a great thing and it really resonated with me when we were talking about it and I used it on something. As soon as I got off that call to her, I used it with something and I, the feeling I got from it was amazing and it literally sorted that issue for me just like that, actually in seconds. Now I'm just gonna go into a bit more detail about why none of this stuff matters and how you say it. So the conversation I had with her was she was what had watched this documentary and she had been led to watch this documentary, which didn't mean anything to her. It was all about some guy growing mushrooms, <laughs> you know, not magic mushrooms, I don't think, so I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but so she thought, why am I watching this? She didn't understand why she was watching it, and right at the end, he said that he used to have a stutter, and one day there was this huge thunderstorm going on, I hope I've got this correct story, I might try and find this documentary actually myself, and um, have a watch of that, and get some more details from her, anyway, the thunderstorm was going on, and all the way through the thunderstorm, he was saying to himself, I don't have a stutter anymore, I, or I don't stutter, something like that. And he affirmed it over and over and over. I don't know how many times he did it, but he did it until the end of the thunderstorm. And I, I guess he was led to do that. He had some urge to do that. The next morning he woke up and he did not have a stutter anymore. How awesome is that? And this is, this guy, this is somebody else's story. So, you know, who are we to say it's, it's um, the right way to do it or the wrong way to do it? So he did that. So he actually owned the stutter. This is what he had and he didn't want to have it anymore. So he said, I no longer have a stutter. I don't stutter anymore. I don't know the exact words, but it was something like that. And then the, I think a couple of days later, maybe it was the next day, he'd seen this girl that he really liked and he'd never wanted to approach because the fact that he had a stutter and she came over to him and they had a conversation. He did not stutter once. And I guess he's never stuttered since because he wasn't stuttering then. So we had this big conversation, me and the, my coaching client, about um, the wording of things because I was saying to her initially, it doesn't matter what words you use. You can say, I want, I desire. It's in the feeling. It's not in what you're saying because a word is what it means to you. It's not what it actually is because there's no actual definition of words in reality is there only what we've decided is the definition of a word so it's how it feels it's not what it is so then she told me so she said oh yeah and then she told me this story and um once I heard that I said well yeah exactly that just proves the point doesn't it it's what works for you not what works for someone else so just do what works for you, mess around with words, mess around with the order of words, the order of, um, you know, the way that you say things and all of that and make it work for you. Um, so that's when we got onto the point of talking about, I heal, um, I heal my attachment to this, or I heal this, or I heal that. So actually bringing up what it is and healing it with that statement. Like I said, I used it on something because I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to do this. I felt, as soon as she, we spoke about it, I felt it and I felt, this is gonna be huge for me, and this might really, really help some other people. So I used it on one particular thing, done, gone, sorted. Do not have that feeling associated with that thing anymore. And I, it was just something that was there anyway, and I live with, it's not a huge deal, but it's gone now, and it's awesome, it felt awesome. So if it works for some of you guys, then brilliant. I do feel like I'm probably waffling slightly off the point, but what I'm trying to say here is there are no rules. There's not, this works and this doesn't work nothing like that so if Nev parts of Neville's way are great for you and parts aren't then just pick the things that are good and then maybe you'll see somebody else and maybe me something that I say 
kind of resonates with you and some stuff that doesn't, it doesn't matter. Pick and choose from, from different coaches and go with what works for you or make up everything yourself. Watch these channels and think, do you know what? Yes, that kind of resonates and that does, but I'm going to make my own way. I'm going to make up my own plan and build up my own toolbox of stuff because it doesn't matter what you do. It's only about the feeling. It really is. Everything is about the feeling. So, and that Neville's point there, it's all in the feeling. It really is. So if it works for you, if it feels good for you, do it. If it doesn't, don't. But there is no rule. And if we make this really, really complicated, then it seems like some big mystical thing that we can't tap into properly that other people can do it and we can't. And just see it in its simplest form. It's all about the feelings. Um, whichever way you get to those feelings, it doesn't matter. It's your way. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd love for you to do that. My son has a law of attraction channel, which I will list at the end. I will put it on um, his profile picture up at the end. And I write books. I'm an author. I used to write articles. I barely have any time to do that. Oh, I barely. I don't have any time to do that anymore. I haven't done that for ages, but I, I might um, do that again at some point in the future. And I offer Zoom coaching personalised subliminals and generic subliminals which are available on my website so you just pay for them, download them, done deal, you have it. And that's that. Thanks for watching.